my name is Rev2 and today it's time for another review. Uh, today I'm gonna review the entry that was supposed to represent Belarus at Eurovision Song Contest 2020 and it, uh, the song uh, is called Davidna and will be, it would be performed by uh, the duo Val. First of all, shout out to the team, uh, which is only one person, <laughs> Mikita Najjunau. Yeah, that's the that's the uh, person behind this song. And well, uh, Davidna translates to Before Dawn. So yeah, that's an interesting one. And it it is the second time when Belarus uh, sings their song in the in their native language. So that's also a really nice uh, thing to do uh, after uh, Navi Band in 2017 when they sang uh, Historia Majeho Życia, which translated to Story of My Life. Yeah. And, and well, okay. So I'm gonna, as uh, you have already seen other reviews, I'm gonna uh, give the scores and my uh, small opinion, well, short opinion, uh, in the musical category, vocal category, and lyrical category, and then uh, we'll get an uh, also for the final score for of me uh, for, for this entry so yeah let's go first up is the musical category uh, where I judge it by the structural instrumental and Eurovision aspect well the structure of the song is uh, well in co it, it consists of typical verses the chorus bridge of course uh, but yeah all I, all I want to say is about the, about the structure is that the pre-choruses sound really impressive, uh, like they have some really cool sound in it, you know. In general, the, it is such a pleasant composition. Like it's 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 really it's really pleasant. Yeah, that's the keyword here. I think uh, uh, instrumental. Yeah, uh, maybe there are not instruments like you know traditional or, or something. But the the sounds that they creating there, they're kind of e experimental, like kind of electro pop thing, you know. It's it's really really interesting. Yeah, it's really really in interesting to mix it up with uh, the native language, even yeah. Um, although it's not my cup of tea, on the other hand. So yeah, um, the sounds. Are memorable yet not too big still it's kind of different from uh, other entries we have this year so yeah mm, on the other hand also kind of forgettable because of so much entries so yeah it's it's just hard to judge it uh, but yeah all we have to say it's original uh, approach for Eurovision and that's what I like about the song uh, but yeah in the end I'll have to give it a five just because uh, it doesn't get uh, anywhere, like it keeps on, you know, uh, the same. But still, I appreciate this kind of uh, different approach. Uh, so yeah, that that's why it's uh, five out of uh, ten. Next up, vocal category. Mm, yeah, the voice of her is very pleasant and smooth. That's that's for sure. Like I I I when it, it comes up on my Spotify list, I'm like, okay, let's listen to it. Yay, you know what I mean. Uh, it it kind of sounds like uh, from a fairy fairy tale. So that's another uh, good thing. Um, yeah, it na it's nicely mixing it. She's nicely mixing it up with the melody, and it sounds really really nice. Uh, when uh, well, we got to hear uh, her live. Mm, so yeah, I can say that it sounds pretty good live, yeah, that, that's for sure. Mm, but yeah, still there would need it would need some improvements. Mm, yeah, maybe it was also uh, because of the um, technical problems, maybe sound problem. I don't know, no idea. Um, so yeah, in the end, the voice sounds really good in this song. 
uh, she sounds in general good uh, or, or is it in the studio version or in the live version it sounds really good um, beyond the other hand this voice is, isn't really standing out like it it's not giving the all the potential it has got I feel like so yeah that's why I'm giving it in the end a 6 out of 10 which is I think a reasonable score not too low not too high yeah and the next up is ly the lyrical category and well yeah the biggest um, good thing about it the best thing about it is that it's in native language which and yeah as all of you know already, I'm a big fan of the native language. And that's why I uh, loved it, love it. I love the lyrics. Um, well, yeah, it, it might be slightly repetitive because Davidna, 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 but still, it isn't that much of repetitive like in other song we had uh, songs we had the, we had this year. Mm, and yeah, it, it's a love presented in a very poetic way, which is uh, always nice to uh, to read, to listen to. Um, yeah, and the, the native language is... Uh, the Belarusian language is very ra rare in Eurovision, so I'm happy that they uh, again went for it. So that's why in the end uh, I'm giving uh, the song in the lyrical category a uh, 6. So yeah, I think also it's a really good, uh, also a good score. And well, uh, oh yeah, oh, of course, I forgot about my favorite line of the song, and it is, I got lost just like winter covers the lake paths with snow. Yeah, beautiful, beautiful. So yeah, uh, now it's time to sum it up, all the categories in this, uh, in, the, the, in this, uh, in reviewing this song. Belarus, uh, well, uh, mu musical category, uh, I gave it a 5, in vocal category I gave it a 6, and in lyrical category I gave it a 6 as well. So there we go, uh, with uh, 5 uh, plus 6, it's 11, plus 6 is uh, 17, and then uh, uh, I'll need to split it by 3, because of the 3 categories, and 17 split by 3 is 5.67 so yeah uh, I think also it's a pretty okay score not too low not too high it's not bad in my opinion uh, it's because older songs many of songs this year are just better yeah that's it so uh, well as we have my score uh, let's go to uh, my colleagues from uh, Destination Eurovision and well, let's get to know what they think about this entry. Hello there again, Sebastian. How are you doing in this beautiful day as we have today? Thank you. Hello. It's a beautiful day, as you said. It's lots of snowing in the very end of the March, so I feel so much happy, so much strong and so much young, even, even if I'm bold. Thank you so much that you're asking. I know, right? That's amazing. Snow in the end of March, uh, before we had no snow at all. Yeah. What can we do? What can we do? The weather is unpredictable. Uh, well, anyways, uh, I want to ask you about the opinion about the Belarus uh, entry, the, the interesting duo uh, Val with the song Davidna in Belarusian. Yeah, as you said, the song is in Belarusian, which is really huge advantage for me. Uh, we heard Belarus in Belarusian only one time in the history. It was Navi Band in Kiev. Uh, so it's really good that they choose to come back to this track and give us something in their native language. Also, it's really electronic pop song, which also is very rare to the Belarus in case of Eurovision Song Contest. So I think it's huge kudos for them to making this effort. Uh, I really like this song. Quite honestly, I like, especially when we are, go to the lyrics, which is much more deeper and much more interesting than we can imagine if we are not knowing this language. Unfortunately, because of how much good songs we have or was, was destined to have in the Eurovision Song Contest 2020, this song lost a little bit in the shuffle, but still it's a pretty decent entry for me. 
Yeah, I totally agree. I would even add an, an other adjective, uh, experimental, because it has yeah. that kind of new sound, uh, a bit of experiment, but it, it works somehow with the uh, with their native language and so on. So yeah, uh, it's a pretty interesting choice. Uh, and well, it's time to reveal the uh, jury votes of Destination Eurovision, so please give me the votes. It's a little bit broke my heart to say this, but <laughs> musical category 3.67, vocal category 5, and lyrical category 5.33, so the overall final score 4.67. I'm not really happy. Sorry, Belarus. I really love you, our neighbors. This is not my choice. <laughs> I give you more points than this. Yeah, except for you, there were other two uh, in the yeah. ju jury members. So, yeah. Uh, it's their fault. The, bla bl the blame, blame has them. to be taken by them. <laughs> These young faces, which you saw in other videos on this channel, yeah, blame them. Blame them, not me. Yeah, you, you will see them very soon. <laughs> yeah. You maybe spot them. Who might be the one that gave Touch Belarus their Facebook so, and so few points? Yeah, send exactly. them mean messages. Exactly. Yeah. Okay. Anyways, thank you so much for giving your opinion for for you for the scores and for being with me here. My pleasure. Thank you so much. Greetings for all the viewers. Take care. Bye. Bye. So yeah, that's their score uh, for this entry, and we sum uh, it. And when we add my score to their score, uh, it is this score in the end. Uh, and well, the final score will be revealed, uh, well, some uh, a few weeks later because uh, I'm gonna do it when all the re reviews are uh, uploaded, ended. And well, you can vote right now, even in the comment section below by giving the song the rates in the categories, the scores from 1 to 10, in scale from 1 to 10, uh, no 1.5 to remind you. Um, in that case, if you put halves, like, like 1.5 or 2.5, then I will have to uh, round it up. So yeah. But anyways, uh, I would love you, uh, for you to uh, give a short comment as well uh, about the entry, what you like and what you don't like about this entry, and uh, to give the scores in the categories for this uh, song. Uh, so yeah, mm, that's actually it for this uh, reaction video. Uh, re not reaction, review video, what the hell. Um, so yeah, thank you so much for watching guys. If you like this video, do the thumbs up. Uh, well, be sure to, to leave your scores and your short comment about this entry. Be sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell icon so you can be notified about my newest uploads. Uh, about the new reviews, I mean, yeah. Um, and you can follow me on Facebook and Instagram, the links are in the description below. You can also follow uh, the, the links to uh, the Destination New Revision on Facebook and Instagram. They have some cool stuff there. Uh, so yeah, again, thank you so much for watching guys, see you next time, take care, bye!